our community more kinder and more beautiful. Hello everyone, I'm Linda Marie Cologne, your host for Making It Artisan Stories. Today I have with me PJ Gontars, one of our volunteers, Wallingford, Connecticut Rocks, painters who creates amazing rocks and hides them throughout the town, encouraging yes. others to be kind and perpetuating the whole community movement that this has become. Yes. So start off by telling us a little bit about Wallingford, Connecticut Rocks, because I understand this is a global movement that we are a part yes, of. Yes, it is worldwide. I used to follow Wallingford Rocks on Facebook, and then I realized they changed the name to Wallingford, Connecticut Rocks. Wallingford had to change it to Wallingford, Connecticut Rocks because there's a Wallingford, England that also has oh, rocks. Oh, they participate too. Yes, they do as well, so okay. it's been changed. I really have n never met any of the other members of the group. We all kind of do this mm -hmm. anonymously. Oh, I said it correctly. I was going to say, this is like an anonymous yes. group that you're a part of, and it's a tight-knit group, except sometimes no one knows the other one is doing it. No, we don't. What's kind of nice is, because we post them on Facebook, they will tag you when they see that somebody's found one of your rocks, mm -hmm. and it's all the way in Florida, or it's in New York City. So it's a lot of fun to see how much your kindness can travel, mm -hmm. and how many people it, and how many hands had to pass through to get to where it is. That's so amazing. It's, Some of them that are just so detailed, like this mermaid one. What I usually do with one of my rocks is, I paint it, it's sealed, and then I take a picture of the group to post mm -hmm. online in the group and say, these are going out uptown. I do like to hide them around the coffee shops because I have um, a coffee fetish. What's nice when somebody finds one and says, oh, look what I found, and post it, or mm -hmm. my grandson found, or... My nephew found so it's Amazing. nice. And to then see. they're expected to pass it on. Yes. Right? So if you find one, you have a moment of kindness yourself because you're kind of paying it forward and yes. then you place it somewhere else for someone else to find. On the back of them, I noticed that some of these you've actually written on them. So is there a certain uh, format that, as part of Wallingford, Connecticut Rocks, you? add certain things? I like to put on Wallingford, Connecticut rocks. This one I did before it had the CT in it. One thing you need to remember is just to use your paint and your sealant, and I sometimes use permanent marker, but don't put glitter on them. Don't add um, three-dimensional things. I know it looks fun, but it's actually littering, and it's not really good for the environment. Oh, um, now I'm we thinking have, about that. You know, okay. If you put any kind of embellishments on it, they could yeah. potentially fall off and right. now it impacts because the environment. No matter it. how strong the glue is, the uh, Gorilla mm -hmm. Glue is, or whatever you use, eventually what is on there will come off and it could hurt the environment, it could hurt our animals mm -hmm. around us. Um, you wouldn't want somebody's pet to pick something up and try to eat it. And right, it. so any kind of embellishments, they want you to steer clear, yes. just the paint, the Mod Podge. Yes. And then just write on it, maybe with a Sharpie, but... Yes. It's great. So you can go on the Facebook page, Wallingford, Connecticut Rocks. Yes. And we can see your collection. We can see other members. Yes. And they all pretty much post them before distributing yes. them and hiding them throughout the town of Wallingford yes. in hopes of Somebody, making somebody's day. Yeah, I know families that are doing this. What a great Moms activity. Just doing gathering it. around the table to do this for others. And yes. then at the same time, it's causing conversation it's an unplugged activity and then when it's time to go out and plant them and hide them it's getting everyone outside and now it's spring so this is a perfect yes. activity there's a lot of these i know are hidden along the linear trail in town mm -hmm. and perfect. Um, it's a lot of fun and the kids want to walk just a little bit further so mm -hmm. they can see if there's one hidden down this way a little bit mm -hmm. further i love it i think it's great and it really is a movement it's a literal yes. movement it's getting people yes. outside, it's getting people engaged, it's bringing people well, you together. Think about it. You have to f find your rocks that you mm -hmm. want to paint, then you have to paint them, then you have to hide them. So, I mean, you really got to get out there and get going. And get involved. There's no so. sitting still. And it helps you be present, I think. And what's nice is um, just being outside mm -hmm. in our community. We have Wellingford has a really lovely area for people to get out and walk around and just smile at each mm -hmm. other. And a sense of community back, which is yes. great. Yes. 
and it's making us fall in love with our town all over again. Yes, exactly. Well, thanks for coming by, PJ. Yeah, PJ Gontars is one of the members who paint for Wallingford, Connecticut Rocks, and we're hoping that you get outside very soon and keep your eyes peeled for one of these or some others and follow Wallingford Rocks on Facebook and show us what you find. I'm Linda Marie Cologne, your host for Making It Artisan Story. Making Wallingford kinder and prettier and sharing art and getting everyone outside and